Hi, Sachin. Can you tell us something about yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, giving me uh, opportunity to mm -hmm. introduce myself. Uh, I am basically from Bir. Uh, I have done my uh, engineering from Pune University in uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, I am working as a uh, software test engineer in TCS, and I have 3.8 years of experience in software testing. Right, right, great. So you have you have been working in manual testing only, and not in automation testing as of now. Yeah. Okay. So is it possible for you to give me the test scenarios for Facebook application? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, first of all, I will uh, give the functional uh, test scenarios. Mm. The, the one should able to uh, send the uh, request, uh, one should able to uh, search the uh, friends in a search box, uh, one should able to accept the uh, friend request, uh, one should able to uh, post the uh, something post on a Facebook uh, wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 regarding the uh, login functionality, uh, the one should able to log in with the valid credentials mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, should able to uh, log out. Uh, these are the uh, main case scenarios uh, regarding the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, is it possible for you to uh, share your screen and you can basically write the test cases? I I uh, give you the sharing permission. Yeah, yeah. In Excel. Yeah, yeah. You can write in Excel. Right. Uh, yeah. In Facebook, apart from this, you can also test in a, uh, add the test scenarios for Messenger. Then you can also add the test scenarios for uploading of photos. You can upload the photo from mobile. You can upload the photo from computer web browser. Then. Let's say if you have uploaded the photo, if someone likes or comments you, then whether you are getting uh, proper notifications or not for that, then let's say if someone is inviting you to some event, then you should be getting a notification for that. Many times we get a notification of birthday reminders as well on that, right? So those test scenarios also you can add. Then let's say if you are using Facebook and you got a call, maybe it's a WhatsApp call or uh, it's an, I mean, you are using Facebook in your mobile phone the mobile app version and you got a call and you are posting something on the Facebook, then what would happen is that text remaining over there is that photo remaining over there in progress or it is completely getting discarded or you have to redo that particular action, right? So those test scenarios also you can add. Then let's say if you want to chat with someone, are you able to send the stickers properly or not to them, right? So those also you can. Then second thing is if you have blocked someone, then those people are uh, account should not be able to access your account, right? Or if you have snoozed someone for some particular time, then they should not, those notifications, those their post should not be visible to you, right? Second thing is, let's say if you are posting something with respect to private mode, public mode, or friends of friends, then those things should also be taken care, right? Based on roles and permissions. Right? So those things you can keep. Okay, right now, uh, can you can you share your screen and in Excel file basically you can write the test cases. Yeah. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Right. So first you can mention which are the various columns in the test case template that you will have.
uh, could I mention all the steps in detail? Uh, uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, you can mention uh, now. Okay, we'll we'll come to that as well. Now, can you tell me what is the significance of each and every column? Yes, uh, test case ID is uh, a uh, ID by which uh, we can we can search the uh, test case in particular mm -hmm. module. Mm -hmm. Scenario uh, shows the uh, the functionality which is to be tested. Uh, uh, in one scenario, there may be a number of test cases. Uh, test mm -hmm. case title shows the uh, direct the functionality title of a functionality. In description, we can write the details uh, of the uh, that. A test case in a prerequisite uh, uh, we will uh, um, the significance of a prerequisite uh, is uh, what is the uh, precondition required uh, for the testing in uh, test steps what are the steps uh, like a uh, user uh, is a login then uh, uh, in case of a uh, add print request uh, the states uh, the test Steps are the uh, first login, uh, then uh, go to the search friend. After that, the click on um, add friend. These are the test steps. Uh, test data is required. Uh, no test data required for, uh, for this testing. Uh, if the user is already login, then uh, our expected uh, the significance of expected uh, result is uh, that uh, the uh, what is the expectation. Uh, or outcome of uh, that, uh, the outcome of test case. Mm. Actual result is the what, what is the business requirement or customer uh, requirement, and priority is the, the importance or mm. uh, how uh, quick uh, that uh, or how soon that uh, test case uh, should be executed as the. Uh, Business point of view and a remark is if uh, if there is any remark, mm -hmm. uh, the person who who will review the test case that person will put the uh, review in the remark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. This is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. So test cases you have all already mentioned test scenarios and all these things you have mentioned. Okay. This is fine. Okay, now uh, I'll, I'll give you a scenario. Let's say if you have to test this particular Excel application, right? And uh, uh, as you have opened this Excel application, you are getting a message over there as product activation failed, right? So yeah. would you log this as a defect? Uh, yes, uh, I, I will uh, log the, this as a defect because uh, because of some connectivity or uh, unauthorization, uh, some cases the Excel will show the uh, product uh, act activation is failed. Mm -hmm. In case, uh, uh, suppose uh, if uh, we uh, we, are, uh, we have entered a invalid uh, credentials and the software is taking that invalid credentials, but after mm -hmm. some time that, that uh, software is showing the product activation fail. In mm -hmm. that case, uh, we can uh, check it for. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, as per you, this is a defect. Right? Uh, uh, yes. Ac actually, it is not defect. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. in case uh, some is uh, someone unauthorized person is mm -hmm. trying to use the application, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, in case our product activation uh, key is expired, in that mm -hmm. case. Uh, it will show the your uh, activation key is filled. It mm -hmm. is actually functionality. It is not defect. It is not a defect. Correctly. So that's what I wanted to hear from you. It is a functionality. As you have not uh, activated your software or maybe from IT team, it has not been activated. Hence, you are getting this message, which is fine. Right. So yeah. what, what you can do is uh, there is nothing that Microsoft Excel can take care of this. Right. If yeah. we are using their account, so we need to have all the software activated, then only the uh, this thing will not display. Okay, now let's say if you want to save your Excel file, you would be able to save it, right? It won't show you any error at that particular time. This is just a kind of a warning message that is coming. This is not an, uh, actually a defect, okay? 
Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Okay, just need to uh, take care of one thing. You have to take care of the spellings that you have mentioned of prerequisite, right? Uh, whenever you write the test cases, test scenarios, prerequisite is there. And uh, I think, can you scroll a bit left? Yeah, request module. So those spellings you'll have to take care. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, yeah I will take care of it. Yeah, yeah, no issues. Okay, now let's, let's move to the next question. Can you tell me the test scenarios for a forgot password functionality? High level test scenarios. You can stop sharing your screen. Yeah, you can tell me the high level test scenarios. Let me stop sharing from here. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, I got password for the uh, Facebook. Yeah, uh, let's say any, any web application you can take. Let's say it's an Amazon and you have forward password link over there. So what would be the test scenarios for forward password? Uh, after clicking on uh, forward password link, the uh, yeah. User should be able to redirect to forgot password link, and that forgot password is linked with the mobile number or email ID. Whenever we put our data, that time the OTP should get get sent to that particular mobile number or email ID. Mm -hmm. And if there is a some key like. A, a, a question a question or, or a security question like what what was what is your first name uh, what what was your first friend if uh, uh, that credentials are applied uh, the user should be able to select the particular credentials mm -hmm. these are some high level scenario for the forgot password mm -hmm. okay so first of all, you mentioned about uh, the link that should be working or not, right? For when, yeah. when I'm clicking on that particular link, it should take me to the proper, it should lend me to the correct page, right? Then, um, then the link should be sent to the user's email address. Then verify, then we will also verify the security questions asked are same to the user when they are asked during the sign up time, right? Let's say during sign up time, you got three to four question answers at so those same security questions should get popped up over here. And if you enter the correct answer, then only it should allow you to go further. Then you can also tell, test whether the new password is also matching the password requirement or complexity criteria. Like, like it should be a combination of special characters, uppercase characters, numerics, right? Then let's say if you have changed your password, then you should be able to log in with that particular corrected password, okay? Now, another test scenario would also be this. Let's say if you did not access that particular link for, let's say one month, two months, three months. So what is the expired, expired date for that particular link for forward password link, right? So yeah. those scenario also you can add. Okay, this is fine. Okay, now can you give me an example of a defect with low severity and high priority? Low severity and, and high, high priority. priority. Hmm. Uh, if there is a uh, logo mistake or uh, the color of logo is not proper, uh, in that case, the defect uh, will be of a low priority because the software is low working severity. High. It would be low severity, yeah. but priority will be high. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of uh, uh, any mismatch or error in Drogo, the software may work fine. But as per the customer uh, point of view, uh, there is a more imp more importance to the logo. Mm -hmm. This is the case uh, of a, a high priority and a low severity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you uh, tell me in a generic manner about your day-to-day -day activities. Let's say when you start your day, so what do you do for eight hours or nine hours? How do you do? How do you take care of various activities? What are your different roles and responsibilities? Uh, when I go to the office or when I uh, starting the office, at first I, I uh, log into the uh, system and mm -hmm. check the mails, uh, uh, whatever I have raised uh, bugs are fixed or whatever whatever i sent uh, mails are uh, th that person replied me after that uh, i'm uh, uh, 
planning uh, whatever the activities uh, what i have scheduled for a day uh, like a test case execution or analyzing test cases uh, uh, or preparing uh, test cases uh, raising defects uh, these activities do and at the end of a day i uh, report uh, to the uh, my senior mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, my daily routine okay fine now consider a situation where you are going to get some build or release for testing okay now uh, let's say you start your day at 10 am and you have uh, sign out you have to sign out at 7 pm 10 to 7 it's a job that you are doing so let's say you were supposed to get a release or build at 11 am right now due to some reason it did not come at 11 am the developers are taking some time to fix some particular defects and issues and they are having some technical challenges so you you get that particular build or release at 5 pm sorry yes 5 pm okay now you have only two hours to test the user story or the functionality what will be your approach what will be your test strategy uh first of all i will uh ask ask my senior if mm -hmm. is that uh, 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 build is going to deliver by today or mm -hmm. by tomorrow mm -hmm. if uh, the priority is very high in that case i will uh, first of all sort out the test cases which are high prior mm -hmm. and first of all execute that high prior test cases and uh, uh, in the, if in that case uh, if some uh, bug uh, find in that case i will report uh, that bug immediately and try to solve the high priority high severity bugs uh, mm -hmm. this will be the my approach in that scenario okay fine so first of all the very first thing that you need to do at this particular stage when you are you know facing such situation is you need to also keep your leads or managers informed that you have just released re received the build at 5 pm instead of 11 am right so accordingly you will have to you know manage your activities let's say if there are 100 test cases that you were supposed to execute from 11 to 7 so now you won't be able to execute 100 out of 100 test cases right yeah. each and every test case will take some time based on their complexity level so you can tell them that today you would be first focusing on the high severity of, sorry high priority test cases right so you would have categorized your test cases from high medium low so you can inform that you will be just doing the high priority testing first right let's say if you get a defect at 5 pm build also then what you would do if the functionality is not at all working it's not at all testable still then what you would do uh, if i get at uh, 5 pm then i will uh, analyze that bug uh, hmm. that bug is proper genuine or not if uh, i feel that the bug is uh, genuine i will raise the that bug to a particular developer and keep all the uh, my seniors informed about that uh, defect right right so again over here there are two sides of coin let's say you get a defect which is uh, a valid defect but it is only let's say you had to test some web-based application and it is only coming in i browser so you will raise that defect for i browser and you will stop testing on the i browser but still you can continue testing on chrome or firefox browser right so yeah. this is how you can answer in an interview, right? So what are the different things that you can take care? Okay, now let's say if it is coming in all the browsers. So, and and apart from web-based application, it's also a mobile-based application. So you can cover, okay, no. So if it's coming from uh, web-based application, so I will test in the mobile. At least in mobile, it is working fine or not. Or if it is not working, you can raise a bug for mobile as well. So this is how you can answer in an interview. See doing testing is one of the thing right but also making sure that we are making progress that is also a very important thing right just raising a defects and uh, holding on or you know waiting for the development team to do those fixes and then if it's a blocker sure shot sure, you'll have to wait you don't have any other uh, approach right but if it's not a blocker if it's a major defect or it's defect with respect to one particular machine os browser or something like that, then you can still focus on other testing areas, right? It's It might happen that out of 100, out of 100, you are not able to complete your test cases today, but at least some progress you will have to show at the end of the day, right? At the entire day, if you tell that so-and-so was not working, so-and-so was not working, so 
it won't give a correct impression to the your management or let's say if it's a blocker then they they will also understand they will also understand right yes uh, uh, sir one thing uh, one hmm. point i want to mention there at first i will uh, analyze the all the defects and uh, try uh, to resolve myself if uh, myself that hmm. defect is not uh, resolving Mm -hmm. then in that case i will uh, reach to the developer suppose if in case uh, suppose uh, uh, if i am feeling that is a bug mm -hmm. in that uh, in some scenario that may be uh, a functionality correct correct absolutely and then second thing is let's say you have raised a defect but still the developer is not knowing he would have been uh, you know thinking he would be have been working on the future functionality so you can also take your laptop to his place and you can collaborate with him okay see i have got this particular defect now did you get a chance to look at my defect or you can show him the defect in your machine itself right so that also collaboration you can do yeah right so this is also you can add as one of the point in an interview it would be a very uh, it would showcase as uh, you know it would give a positive impression on the interview sure sure definitely okay yeah Okay, Sachin. Okay, Sachin. Uh, I have, I'm done with the interview. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, I have a question. How will you rate uh, the interview on the scale of uh, one to ten? Okay. See, uh, your functionality, your basic knowledge of testing is good. But what I would, uh, you know, recommend you to revisit the concepts of testing once. And second thing is, um, apart from theoretical knowledge, think from the practical knowledge. think as a whole team right it's not just the testers but you will have to call collaborate with the development team with the business analysts with the product management so as a together how can you push that product how can you release that product so that it is been used by the customer or client without you know um, in in a proper deadline as well right so that those are the few of the aspects that you need to think and you need you need to collaborate more with the development team and all those things i am sure you would be doing that right yes i will take care of it yeah and second thing is on this test scenarios based question let's say if it's a facebook thing or forward password so try to give more and more test scenarios to the uh, as as your answers in an interview right so that interviewer will be happy to see okay he or she is able to think from that aspect as well right the more you answer yeah, yeah the more clarity it will give to the interview right sure definitely yeah okay sachin thank you so much and all the best for your career okay thank you so much